Hey everybody, Zell here, We're bringing some more artifact adventures for you. Let's see, last time we went through the glowstone cave, if I'm not mistaken. Got some, get some uh, decent loot out of there and uh, finished up some side quests. We also uh, briefly explored the fortress, but before I, um, yeah, before I start exploring more of that I would like to go back to Greenville which is uh, where I'm at right now and uh, yeah talk to this little boy right here thanks kid and yeah here we go that's that's the thing I was talking about last time um, yeah fragment of a map it you, you use it from your key items it takes you back to Greenville uh, I think I also need to turn in um, the goblins, if I'm not mistaken. We'll go ahead and do that, since we got a few of them. And maybe we can get something good out of it. Who knows? All right, here we go. Oh yeah, we should get something out of this. Thrill of victory. Yeah, it's kind of a weird description, but basically what it does is I don't know if y'all played the um like the Dragon Quest series or Dragon Warrior series if from the older versions of the series but basically what it does it's like a whistle uh, from that series in the sense that well as you can see from the script as you saw from the description um it just it's just a way for you to get into battles quicker that's literally it But, um, yeah, whenever we do level grinding, though, that is actually an, eff an effective way of, uh, well, level grinding. So we'll be taking advantage of that. Uh, not right now, but in the future. Anyway, let's go back to the fortress. Let's see. Um... Yeah, you got it, buddy. Hmm. That does sound pretty weird. Uh, let's see where I get the fortress map. Um. Uh, let's see. Pulling up my notes right now. Okay, where is the next shrine? Let's see, we are at the fortress. The next shrine is to the west. And we can get some, uh, some decent stuff out of it. So let's go ahead and head that way. I think we're going to be encountering new enemies in this area. Yep, here we go. Ooh, we got a mini boss, Giga Worm, and a Goblin Warrior. Okay. I go for the Goblin Warrior. Um, Magic Blast. I think Blue Tear is effective against the Giga Worm. Let's see. That is... That's pretty dang effective. There we go. Decent experience. I think I'm heading the right way. I 
I thought I didn't encounter these dudes. Oh. Well, we got new enemies. Uh, some deadly crabs. Let's try Thunder Mouse against them, see how it does. Um, I don't think Blue Tier would do a whole lot against them. So let's stick to Magic Blast. That'll do it. <laughs> Ah, there we go. There's the shrine. Two thousand gold and black letters. There we go. Um. Yeah. Twenty extra defense. That's pretty dang good. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let's see what? What are you looking like? Well, let me check your status. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's go back the way we came. And yeah, maybe we can encounter some more... Bad guys. Hey! We leveled up. All right. Level five. I really needed that too because I got my butt kicked in that battle. It was three goblin warriors, and one of them was a was a boss. And I got a pretty nasty crit off on on uh, on Zell there. He almost died. Yeah, we got a new enemy troll. Pretty sure. Um. Blue tier is effective against him. Very effective. There we go. See how we doing on money. All right. Any uh, jar goblins over here? Perhaps. Aha! Get your little butt back over here, you chump. Alright. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I thought there was one in there. I think we're getting an item in here? Yep. For speed. Um, let's, let's have a look at our speed. Ten, seven, eight. Let's use it on the vow. What's in here? Nothing. All right, let's go downstairs. Let's get jar goblin. Got a job for me. Sure. Right, yeah, sure. No problem. Ooh, 42. And uh, here we go. We get the map for this place. MP about five. Uh, yeah, let's give it to Carl. Yeah, 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 let's let's make Zell a little tankier. Why not? <laughs> uh, I th let's see, we are... Okay, three goblins still. Can't really do anything at night. I think this just leads to the... Yeah, okay. So, let me pull up... The artifacts. So this is foreign. The left door is actually a very good spell, which I will probably be getting very, very soon, if not right now. 
if I have the money for it, is Healing Mist. It costs 9 MP, AoE healing. Uh, for low light, light AoE healing, which is pretty dang good in my opinion. Uh, especially at the start of the game. Okay. Born. The middle door is Purifying Light, Cures Poison, 3 MP. Not bad. Um, and the far right door has Noble Knight Shield, which increases one party member's defense. And it's only cost 3 MP. So, yeah, uh, all those spells are actually pretty dang good, in my opinion. But, yeah, that's the only downside there. 5,000 gold apiece. Which, tell you what I'm gonna do. Uh, well, I'm gonna rest up. Not at the end here. What what I never do, I never rest up at the end. At anywhere, but the starting town, since we can go pretty much anywhere to any town we want to, at this point. And the starting town has the cheapest end. Twenty gold. Thanks, buddy. Since we're here, I mean, we might as well... But do we have enough for a reward? I think we do. Pretty sure we do. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do first, since I got 6,000 gold. Um, I wasn't going to do this. Well... Nah, I'm still not going to do it. I was thinking about putting my money in that thing, but I'm going to hold off a little while longer. Yeah, I'm going to hold off. Nah, not yet, buddy. There we go, and in here we get the plated headband, which I don't think any of us can equip. Nah, that's, that's a... A monk thing. It's actually a pretty good piece of headwear. Uh, increases defense for them by quite a bit compared to uh, most of anything else they get in the game, unfortunately. Um, and it also boosts their attack, if I'm not mistaken. So that's... Uh, since I took a second warrior, that's basically just you know, more money for me. Yeah, 3,000. Let's go ahead and sell the leather armor. Anybody else have anything to sell? Nope. So, I guess we'll go ahead and just back out of town. And go back to foreign. Maybe we can buy some equipment. Or talk to, uh, let's talk to some other town folks first. Uh, like... This guy. Yeah, man. Lacking something. Ooh. Sure, buddy. Yeah, man. For sure. Uh, oh yeah, weapon shop. Okay, we can get large axe. I think I might go ahead and get this for Vin. And then just get the cutlass for Zell. Um... I'm not going to worry about buying Breastplate for Zell, but I will get it for Ven. Go ahead and sell off his equipment. Yeah, unfortunately it'll be a little bit before we get anything for... Um, our shamans. But, 
It'll be alright. It'll be good. Okay. Let's have another look at the world map. Where do we go from here? There's a couple locations we can go. Um, well, quite a few actually. But they are kind of hard, especially at this point in the game with our current levels. So, I think I am going to go back to Fortress. Or just, I'm just going to walk back there. If I find any new enemies, then, uh, then yeah, I shall keep that in. Otherwise, I'll meet you at Fortress. Ah, right, here we go. Got the Hydra. Nothing special about this. Yeah. Goes down pretty easily. Alright, we're here at Fortress. So, from here, we are going to go north. Past this bridge. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know if you remember some people talking about the Northern Ruins. Uh, wait. Before we're going in here, let's change it to nighttime because we do got to do something here at nighttime. If I'm not mistaken, there's also a jar goblin in this area. Exert strength. Go ahead and give that to Vin. And a new enemy, goblin zombie. Uh, why don't you just defend? Line of Redemption. Dang. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we got a gargoyle and a living skull. The gargoyle is actually kind of formidable if you're not careful. Um. He can do a pretty nasty breath attack, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So I suggest taking down the Gargoyle as quick as possible. I hate this Jar Goblin. There we go. Who are you? Yes, I did. I'm not paying 500 gold. Shoo. Okay, yeah, we got a little bit of a mini boss with the scoundrel. He can be pretty tough, but... Well, let's just go all out. Yeah, normally you're not supposed to fight this guy for quite some time. Okay, Spirit Ember doesn't do anything against them. Let's try just a regular little magic blast. Ooh. Oh, there we go. See, not too bad. Fight dirty. But hey, at least we get the Fortress key back. Um, yeah, let's use a Radical Herb on Ven. Uh, yeah, let's use a couple more herbs, get those two back up to speed, and let's continue exploring this place. Alright, here's a couple gargoyles, nothing too bad. Okay, nobody knew in that battle. Go over here. Normally you couldn't go through down those set of stairs during the day, but at night... Yeah. So you have an option here. It doesn't really affect anything. Um, it's either a free pass to not have to fight this child or you can fight this child. There's no consequence either way as far as I'm aware. So what I usually do is, I I usually fight the child because um, he's not that hard, if, as long as you're careful. I'm 
remember fighting this kid before. I think what it is is because I do have the healing water. Uh, that it's not going to give me the option to fight it. So if I were to use it right now, kind of need to, kind of sort of need to use it. There we go. Okay, so you have to not have it in your inventory, then talk to the kid. To fight a wandering soul. Uh, since it's undead, let's see, we'll go with Spirit Ember and Light of Redemption. Just keep uh, going all out like that. Should take this dude, that, dude down in no time. Simple enough. More experience, more money. We'll take it. And we get the big cauldron. So you remember a certain alchemist that needed that? Well, this is where you get it from. So if you if you wanted to, this would actually be a pretty good place to level grind, actually. Uh, the enemies here are kind of tough, uh, but not too bad as long as you get like, a lot of redemption. Uh, for enemies like these, just have your warriors or your fighters. Um... Fight the the uh, um, merge fireballs, and then just have your mages just, just cast a simple magic blast against the rock piles. Because uh, you're only going to do like one or two damage against the rock piles if you use your physical attacks, since they have extremely high defense. That can happen too. Those those uh, fireballs can cast silence on your mages. Which, in that case, if they get both of your mages, I just suggest running from the battle. Because uh, there's no point in just standing there and, you know, with silenced mages doing one damage over and over and over again. So, yeah, I might level up once or twice from there. Um, off screen. But for now, let's head back to Greenville. And talk to this alchemist. Yeah, buddy. 2,000 gold. Not bad. And we all leveled up. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. Let's see, he's asleep. Don't really need to rest up. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and buy some healing waters now. You cannot go wrong with healing waters. And sell some of this other, other junk. Like uh, bullets. We'll never use those. I think I bought it. A little too, few too many of these cleansing tonics, but you yeah, better be on the safe side, you know. We got plenty of money, so let's buy a couple for the mages and a few for the warriors. Good to go. Good to go. All right. Now where to next? Uh. Let's head back to, wait, if I'm not mistaken, let's actually head back to Lorton Rick and talk to this guy over here. Not enough. Hmm. Well, that's suspicious. Well, nothing we can do but head back to Foreign and talk to that guy.
Hmm. Wonder what that was all about. Wonder what the goods actually are. Yes, I do. An extra 500, what the heck? Hmm. So we can get 1,500 in total. But we have to go to the gem mines and the... to the south. Which, the enemies there are actually kind of tough. <laughs> um, I mean, you can go through that area if you really want to. But I am going to pass on that. I am going to head to the south, however, and go to the next, um, the next, sh uh, shrine of time. See, am I heading the right way? I believe so. Yes, I am. Just checking my map, just, just to make sure. There's a couple crabs. Nothing too deadly. All right, here we go. There we go. What do we get here? A thousand gold and a Bug Slayer. Bug Slayer is actually pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's a little better than what Vin has right now. But I'm not going to give this to Vin. I'm going to give this to Zell. Since Vin already has a... Uh, Pretty good weapon. Um, yeah, I will upgrade this axe eventually. But not right now. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we can go down to the south a little, little more. The enemies aren't that difficult. Alrighty, um, we got one place we can go to over here, and we got some new enemies, okay, uh, Stone Troll and Mega Hydra, let's go after the Mega Hydra first. Let's try Magic Blast and Blue Tear on the Stone Troll. Not quite enough. Um, Ma Magic Blast should do it. Let's try the Blue Tear on Mega Hydra. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's use a Healing Water. And turn it to dark. And find a jar goblin. There we go. Nothing else here. But instead, let's see what we get over here. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, you got a few places like these. It's kind of weird, but... Um, let me pull something up real quick. Uh... Okay. So we have another one over here somewhere. There it is. The treasure chest. The aquatic slasher. Trey Bane to the creatures of the sea. Now this we will give to Ven. I had, if I had checked ahead of time, maybe I didn't have to purchase that large axe, but it served its purpose for what we needed it for. So, I mean, I think it was still a good investment. And for now, I'm going to hold off on buying shields for Vin anyways. 
because uh, there will be other two-handed weapons that I want to get for him. Okay, we got a couple new enemies, Tapirs and uh, Goblin Knights. Let's see. Uh, yeah, y'all go for the Goblin Knight. Let's see if the Thunder Mouse will work against those two. And I don't think Blue Tier really does much of anything against Goblin Knights. We'll try it. I did a little bit. Let's go with the same strategy, blue tier. Well, I guess I will show y'all what happens later. Because I, uh, as much as I love this game, every now and then, the game crashes. So... Basically, everything that that's happened in this episode was for nothing. <laughs> At least for me. So I'm going to go back through eh, just 30 minutes worth of stuff to uh, get back to where I was. And we will continue from there. I just got to look at the footage just to make sure exactly where I left off at. But, uh, but yeah, I will try to stay in the same... Um, level range as I was before where I left off. Um, you know, I might even just take my advice on uh, keeping the shield for Vin and not purchasing that large axe just yet. So yeah, um, save your game often, because uh, yeah. Usually this doesn't happen until after playing this game for a little over an hour, not 30 minutes. But it is what it is. So yeah, I'm just going to call the episode right there. Um, sorry, sorry about that. But thank you all for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll <laughs> pick up where we left off, I suppose. And uh, let's go from there. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you all next time. Y'all take care now.